everyone. Today we are going to be talking about another element of art. We're going to be talking about texture today. Now, if you don't know what texture is, texture is how something feels. So um, a good example is a marshmallow. If I were to t um, ask you what does a marshmallow feel like, you might say soft and squishy. But if we roast that marshmallow, the texture might change and we might get like gooey, sticky, maybe crispy where it got burnt a little bit. Um, so today we're going to draw an ice cream cone and we're going to talk about the texture of ice cream. What do you think it would feel like if I touched the cone? What do you think it would feel like if I touched the ice cream? Or maybe the chocolate sauce that's dripping over it? Or even the sprinkles? So I want you to think about that as you're drawing today what the texture of an ice cream cone would be. So we're going to start with the V for the cone and it's going to be on the bottom of the page. So if you find the middle, it's going to be the bottom. And we are going to make a V. And then over the top we are going to make a wavy U shape line. So one, two, doesn't really matter how many bumps you have. When you scoop it out, you get all that extra. I'm going to curve these up. And then I'm going to make a giant um, arch, kind of like a rainbow. So I'm going to connect these together. As much ice cream as you want. Awesome. It's starting to look like an ice cream cone. Now we're going to pour the toppings on. So maybe you want yours to be that ooey gooey sticky caramel or the smooth chocolate syrup. I really like the chocolate that you pour it on and then as soon as it hits the ice cream it gets really hard so you can like break it off into chocolate pieces. That's my favorite. But whatever you want, we're going to pour this on with a nice wavy line so it looks like it's dripping. Now, the crunchy sprinkles. I love rainbow sprinkles. I mean, they're pretty, right? But they also taste yummy. But they're nice and crunchy. So, I'm going to add some sprinkles with little rectangles. Now I want to make them different directions so it doesn't look like they're all going the same way. Like I actually just sprinkled them all on. That's why they're called sprinkles, right? Now they stick to the toppings you put on best, so I'm just going to put them up in that section. Because I haven't decided what kind of ice cream I want yet. What is your favorite kind of ice cream? I have so many that I like. I don't even know if I can pick. I mean, mint chocolate chip is amazing. Chocolate peanut butter. Black raspberry chip from Graders. Oh, heavenly, right? <laughs> okay. So we're going to make a waffle cone. So we're going to crisscross the lines like a waffle. That's why they call it a waffle cone. So we're going to make diagonal lines this way first. So diagonal lines are not straight, they are going sideways. And then I'm going to make it going the other way. So still diagonal. You ever had those waffle cones like dipped in the chocolate, then dipped in the sprinkles. Oh my goodness, they look so yummy. I've actually never had one of those. <laughs> they just look good. Alright, so we're going to add some drips for our ice cream. So to add a little droplet, making it look like it's dripping, it's pointed at the top. And then it's curved around at the bottom. So pointed at the top, 
and then curved at the bottom. Good job. Now we're going to add a little puddle here. Now our puddle is just like a little blob, right? Because all puddles can be different. So really, you can't even be wrong here. I'm just going to make a little puddle where all of my ice cream is dripping off to, so you better eat it really fast. And then around the outside, I'm just going to add some sprinkles. Like maybe I'm sprinkling it on, and they're just going everywhere because sprinkles can be messy. But they're also a lot of fun, right? So I'm going to add these little rectangles. And it's going to make my picture look awesome when I color all these extra colors and details. You guys know I love my details, right? And go off the page. Awesome. Now you guys can decide whatever kind of ice cream you guys want. Maybe this is even strawberry topping. Who knows? But you guys to be creative with it. So maybe I'm going to make this looks like a good caramel color. So I'm going to make this caramel. I'm going to color around all of my sprinkles so that I can come back in. And color all of those details. I want you guys to make sure you color your drawings when you're done. It makes them look so much better. And we also don't want to just scribble all over it with one color. Because you took so much time to do the drawing. You should take just as much time to color the picture, color the background, Color the details. Try to use at least five colors. You can always use more than five. But if you set a goal of using five colors, then it's going to look a whole lot better than if we just use one. Oh man, this caramel looks delicious. I think I'm going to pour it on my chocolate ice cream. What do you think? Do you guys like chocolate? That means I need to get a different brown. It's going to be a dark brown. You can see when I'm coloring, I'm using little lines. I'm trying to color all the same direction. Getting the edges. And coloring nice and neat. And sometimes I have to turn my paper to color so that I can still keep going the same direction. And come back and get those edges. But there's chocolate chips in my chocolate ice cream. Doesn't that sound yummy? You can even color your edges a little bit darker. Makes them look round. We're going to talk about value in another one of our lessons. All right, now I'm going to keep coloring mine. I want you guys to keep coloring yours and send me your finished projects. I can't wait to see what kind of ice cream you choose.